Hello everyone, it's um, Sunday afternoon here about quarter to one and Lottie and I are here to tell you how we went at the Doll Club meeting yesterday. It was so good, I can't tell you, it was just brilliant. This is what Lottie wore, she's wearing the two piece outfit that was one of the options, um, the little white top that's got the scallop collar with the pink dots on it, let me show you. I don't know if you can see that, with the little pink embroidered spots around the edge and the pink bow. And that's just gathered. And then it's got little scallop sleeves. And then the, her nappy cover is just pink with white spots and lace trim and buttons down either side. So that's what she wore. And I added, that bonnet isn't part of the set, but luckily it matches really well. Like You wouldn't know it wasn't part of the set. So she wore that as well, but I took that off about halfway through the meeting so people could see her hair. So what happened was, when I got there in the morning, I set her up on the table where we put our display things and just left her there. And a few people, I watched them, they stopped and they looked at her and they walked past and a few people who know that I make these came up to me and, and asked me about her but we were just chatting and then I um, when it was time I got up at the beginning of the meeting to talk about her and I decided not to do the same as what I've done before so I didn't say that we're all different as collectors and you know we're not nuts and we're just doll collectors and doll people so I didn't didn't go through that same spiel but what I did was I just talked about why I made her and that officially she's basically my first reborn that I've made specifically for myself and I talked about the kit, I talked about when I made her and a few things like that and people seemed to be interested, they were quiet and listening and it wasn't until at the end of the meeting once people had seen her and she'd been lying down for, for a little while I went to pack her up and then everyone came out, well, that's silly, take that word away, it wasn't everyone, but all the people who love reborns came over and they all wanted a hold of her and it was fantastic, oh I was in heaven, because they were saying they couldn't believe her hair was painted, it looked so real and just how beautiful her eyes are and look at her skin and you know, all the things, it was wonderful, so one girl came up to me and she said, I'm feeling a bit fragile, do you mind if I hold her for a little bit? And so that would just absolutely touched my heart. Um, she didn't say why she was feeling that way, um, but it was just wonderful. And we were chatting and, you know, the usual thing that people do, how they rock back and forth when they're holding one of these dolls. Well, she was doing that too. It was lovely and all these people kept coming and saying how wonderful she is and how beautiful and perfect. And, oh, I was in heaven. I was floating. E even one of the women who really doesn't like these dolls, doesn't like reborns at all and won't ever go near my dolls, came up to me and said she can see how beautiful she is. She didn't want to touch her or anything, but, but at least she could understand what it's about, sort of. So I felt really happy. It was wonderful. I, let, I floated away in a cloud at the end of the meeting. I was so happy that they loved my Lottie. Um, I, I just, it just felt really, really good. Um, it was so. It was good. I, I mean, I didn't change anybody's mind. I'm sure the people who don't like reborns just aren't going to change their minds about that. Um, but the people who do like them really enjoyed seeing her. So I felt really pleased about that. And they were all loving her feet as well. So I took um, who was it, Joy, um, from Barbara Austin, who suggested I leave the shoes off. Or I can't remember. Um, may have been everybody saying that so I did leave her feet bare anyway because I love to see her feet so and um, what else oh it was Suzanne made the suggestion that this should be one of the final choice outfits but what I did on Friday night was when I got home from my daughter's family's house so it was about I suppose about eight o'clock or something I got home and so I had Lottie on the table and I had all the different outfits and extra ones as options and I started changing her from one thing to the other. And each one looked gorgeous, but I kept thinking, mm, is that really what I want to take her in? And so I'd try the next outfit until I came to this one. And it was perfect. It was just what I wanted. You could see her chubby legs. 
but the white was beautiful and delicate near her face. And then when I found the bonnet, that was just perfect because that was Joy's idea to have a bonnet as well. So, and because, you know, it can come off so they could see her hair, it was fantastic. It was a very successful outing for Lottie and I felt very proud of her, a very proud mother. Um, so it was great. So that was how yesterday went and I'm very pleased about it. I'm still still a bit floaty, it was so good. You know when you get that feeling of, oh, I just felt just so proud, it was fabulous that people really liked her. So that was good. Now the other thing I wanted to show you was another Didy doll I have. So let me just move Lottie and I'll put the Didy doll in her place. So just speak amongst yourselves for a minute. Well, I move her. Come on, sweetheart. You come over here. That's a good girl. Move this one across. There we are. Th now, this Didi doll, let me just readjust the camera. This one is bigger than yesterday's one. This one is about 15 inches, I'd say. And the other one was about 11. That's not great, is it? Here we are. The other one was about 11. So she's the bigger sister. I'm sorry I'm fiddling so much. Is that too annoying? Let's, um, so we, obviously we're in another room. We're not in the kitchen now. We're in my bedroom. And the light's very good. It's a lovely day outside. It's sunny, warm, breezy. Perfect. Absolutely perfect day. The heat hasn't come back yet. This will be my final wriggle, I promise. Hmm, can I bear that? It's not exactly in the centre, but let me just move in a tiny bit and then I really will stop fiddling. There we go. So there she is now. She is, I'm not sure how old, probably about the same age as yesterday's baby, so maybe 1940s. She's in an original dress and apparently this outfit is quite rare. I got the outfit on another doll that was amazing. I'd never seen a Didi like it. She, I think she was a prototype. She had a hole in the top of her head and she had a little, like, a little tuft of hair, but it was quite big. It was plaited. Um, you call it braided, um, coming out of the top of her head. And I'd never seen one before, never seen one since. But unfortunately she had um, hard plastic disease in her head and the smell was just terrible and I couldn't keep her which just nearly killed me but there's nothing you can do once the plastic breaks down um, some of the chemicals in there there's nothing you can do I gave it to a girl who said she knew exactly what she could do to, to fix it hoping that she could fix it and I explained it was a rare doll it was a prototype and um, so she said, that's not a problem. I'll deal with it. Don't worry. Because she, she has a lot of, um, n I, th I think they're called Nanette dolls and Aaron B dolls, which are like the F and B. They came after F and B and they're called Aaron B. So it's a bit of a copy. Just the name is a bit of a copy. So she sells a lot of those dolls. And they often have the pla hard plastic smell, apparently, that she fixes. So I thought, okay, fair enough. Um... And she took my doll, and unfortunately she destroyed it. She didn't smash it with a hammer or anything like that, but she lost the top knot, she couldn't find it, and she returned it to me, and it still smelt a little bit. And she just, oh, it was just no good. So I had to throw her away, which nearly killed me. I even took a photograph of her in the rubbish bin, because it was just so, so awful to see. But there was nothing I could do, and the fact was that the, the vinyl was breaking down, or plastic, whatever it was, was breaking down anyway. It couldn't, couldn't be saved. Um, but I did get this lovely little outfit, which I didn't realise was rare until I showed it to the girl who is the one who's blocked me since. She, um, she said definitely from her research she can tell me that's a rare outfit. So at least I got that much. Now, I don't know if you can see, but on the feet of this one, the rubber is breaking down. Remember I told you yesterday that that's what happens to the arms and legs? It got, just sort of crumbles and shrinks up and breaks down. It's starting to happen to her legs. It's not happening to her arms just yet, but it probably will. 
because that, it's just getting too old. At least the head's going to be okay. So this time I also remembered to bring it one of the little bottles. I'll just show you. Even Flo makes these little, or made these tiny bottles for dolls as well, but this one's called a Tiny tiny Flow. It's identical to the Even Flow ones, it's just a different brand. Sorry, I wasn't holding it properly. Let's see if I could bring it up closer. And there it is. It's glass, of course, because they didn't have plastic back then. And it's got a proper little rubber teat on it, and it actually undoes. So you could actually put something in there that unscrews. Um, there you go, that's off. So that's pretty amazing, isn't it? It's so sweet. These dolls did come, these bottles were part of them, part of what they had. So that's her bottle. I forgot to show you yesterday. And I also forgot to show you this amazing book that I've got. It says, Didy Dolls Days. Isn't that so cute? Look, she's standing up in, I think it might be a playpen or maybe her cot. Isn't she so cute? Let me show you some of the pages. Oh, before I do that, sorry I got a bit distracted. I should tell you about her dress. Because she's got a dress and a bonnet in a very fine cotton, excuse me. <coughs> and um, it th there's a little print, tiny print on it that's pink and blue. It look like little filled in circles. And there's sort of a self-stripe in white running through it. And across the bodice, the top of the bodice is white. And then across the bodice it's got the pattern fabric with two buttons and the bonnet is just made out of the patterned fabric and it's a classic bonnet with with a brim and lace around the brim and it ties up under her chin with a pale blue ribbon so that's all original I'm very pleased to have that I think there's a petticoat underneath let me have a look yes a beautiful little fine cotton petticoat with lace trim and she's got her bird's eye nappy on as well just like her little baby sister had yesterday I don't know if you can see when I'm showing that leg. Can you tell that sort of squashed? The shape has gone funny there. So that is happening to her. I think, oh yeah, this arm's fine. Look at that. Can you guys see that arm? That's squashed in. There we go. So it's happening to her. Can't do anything about it. It's just the age of the rubber. And um, that's the way it goes. She's still sweet. So let's get back to the book. Now I'm all over the place, aren't I? Let me just fix this. There we are. So this is Didy Dolls Days. I'll show you. Very sweet. It's all black and white. It says by Peggy Van de Grief. Photographed by Lawson Fields. Isn't that fantastic? Now the copyright is written in um, Roman numerals and I'm not going to sort that out just now. I don't know what it is. I should have looked at that before I started. Sorry everyone. So this was printed in America this book, where the dolls come from, and then here's a sweet, it's all black and white, here's a really sweet page of a little girl, isn't she gorgeous, look at her, playing with her Didy baby, and it says, I know I'm the happiest baby doll in all the world, sorry I'm just moving around a bit, I have a dear little girl mother called Peggy Ann who loves me, a nursery corner all my own, and even a layette. In the layout is everything a baby needs. I am a birthday gift to Peggy Ann. She's three years old today, and I am one day old. I'm going to tell you everything we do. So I won't read you the whole book, but it's very sweet. Look at this picture, black and white again there. She, see the bottle? So she's just there in her bird's eye nappy, lying on, maybe in a bed? It says, I was hungry and I was almost crying. I wanted Mother to hurry with my bottle. So she's lying in the bed, just with a nappy on, nothing else, drinking her bottle. Let's see what's on the next page. Oh, this is a cute page. She's sitting up now. and It looks like she's, this baby is reading. Let me tell you what she's reading. Today I heard my mother say, this is one baby who is not going to be spoiled. Here is her schedule. I'm going to follow it and she will be well trained. Oh my goodness, this poor baby. After mother left my corner, I peeped to see what the thing called a schedule was. This, I found, was a schedule. And so then it's got written, I'll show you. There's Didi's schedule. She has a bottle at 8.30, a bath at 10.30, 
another bottle at 11.30, a nap at 1, another bottle at 2.30, a ride in her buggy at 4, a bottle at 5.30 and then bed for the night at 6 o'clock. So that's this baby schedule. Oh, look at this page. I'm sorry that Lulu and a few others of you can't see. It's adorable. It's a, a black and white picture of a little girl, I guess, Peggy Ann. Was that her name? Yes. Giving her a diety dollar bath. And it's a small, looks like a tin tub that the baby's in. And she's on a little drop side table. Oh, sorry. I was looking at the book, not at what I was showing you. I'm sorry. So how cute is that? She's having her bath. Love it. Right, <coughs> let's see what's on the next page. Oh, look at this. Uh, the words say, After my bath, the nicest thing happens. Mother powders me with a soft puff. It makes me feel so good that I coo and sing. Mother hugs me and says, How sweet my baby smells. And there we are. So cute, isn't it? So they're using the drop side table as a change table there. And the little girl standing looking after her diety baby. Oh, another sweet, sweet picture. Look at this. The little girl sitting in a, a little wicker rocking chair, a child very small child size wicker rocking chair. And she's got the little girl's got her shoes and socks on and she's got a ribbon tied round in her hair and she's got a dress on, I think. It's a bit hard to tell but I think so. And she's holding her diety doll. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? And she's saying rockabye, rockabye to her baby. And this next page is, oh, that's interesting. Nap time. And the, the diety doll's in a little, little bed, I guess you'd call it. I don't know if it's actually a cot, you can't really tell. And it says, at nap time, Mother pulls down the shades. She tells me a story about a wee pigger, piggy. She calls my fingers five little piggies. Mother says that my bed is just like a big ship sailing on a blue, blue lake. I like to make believe that my bed is a ship and that I can sail and sail away to sleep. And there's baby Didi going to sleep. There's the little girl. She's got a painting smock on and she's got her baby Didi sitting in a chair and she's painting a picture of baby Didi. So it looks very, very good, doesn't it? Very good for a little tiny girl. And she's covered in a floral painting smock from, from neck to ankles. Very cute, that is. So that's what they're doing in the afternoon, I guess. Now this picture is adorable. This is just a picture now of the Didi doll. Oh, she's got bandages all over her. She's sitting on something and she's got little bandages over both her hands and one of her hand and arm. So it looks like they've been playing doctors. Let's see what the next picture is. It's a little girl sitting on a little stool or something. And she's got her dress on, the same dress as she had in the rocking chair. Shoes and socks, leather, white leather shoes and socks. And she's got a rib her ribbon in her hair. And she's, looks like she's making a footprint of baby Didi. And there's a picture of the footprint there on the other page. Very cute. Let's have a look. Oh, here we are. Look at this gorgeous page. Baby Didi is lying in a, a beautiful old um, baby scale. I've got some scales like this. I have to pull them out and show you one day. Everything I have, I always say I have to pull it out and show you one day. But I will. We'll get around to seeing everything. So there's Baby Didi lying on like a sheet or a blanket in the wicker scale basket getting weighed. That's very cute. Oh, let's see, it looks like baby didi has gone to the doctor for a checkup. She's got like a thermometer in her mouth and the little girl's got a nurse's uniform on. She's got her same shoes and socks and she's got like a, a white nurse's apron over her dress and a nurse's cap. 
That's pretty cute. And it's all happening on the um, white drop-down table. It's a little table. It's a child-sized table. It's not too high for her. Oh, who's this? Looks like the doctor's come in and very, um, as in the olden days, the doctor has to be a boy. So he's a boy and he's wearing a doctor's um, gown that ties at the back. He's got a stethoscope in his ears and he's putting it on baby Didi's chest. And he's got like a doctor's cap on as well. And Didi is lying on something different. She's not on the white drop side table now. Oh, I'll, I'll tell you what this little sentence says. It says, Now I know this doctor is only Joe, the boy who lives next door. He listened to my heart. He held my tongue down with a stick and looked at my throat. The doctor wrote something on his pad. Then he said, Give your baby these sugar pills three times a day. Thank you, doctor, said mother, as we left. So that's why the baby died. He's on a different table because they've visited next door. Very sweet book. This is a strange picture. I can't quite make it out. It's a little bit strange. The little girl's sitting on the floor. She's leaning back. And she's playing a game with her Didi doll who seems to have a blanket over, over the top of her. And then she's just holding her up in the air a bit. She's got The little girl's got her legs stretched out. She's still got her white leather shoes on and the same pretty dress that she had on earlier. Oh, they're playing patty cake, patty cake. Okay. Oh, look at this one. This is so cute. This is the little girl... She's dressed up as a, what would you call, a native Indian. She's got a headband around her head. And she's in front of a teepee that looks like it's made with three sticks and a sheet. And she's looking into a pot. And baby Didi is in a papoose type of arrangement, tied on the little girl's back. Very sweet. I've never actually looked through this book like this, so this is new for me as well. So now on this page, the little girl is sitting back in her wicker rocking chair in front of a fire, holding Didi Baby on her lap. There they are, they're just looking into the fireplace. We can't see any flames, but we just know that we can see the logs. Oh, wow. Oh, we'll like this page. Here's Didi in her pram. So it's a, I guess it's a, a wicker or cane pram, and the handles not, it's at, like behind Didi's head, so Didi is looking forward in the pram. She's looking the direction they're walking, and she's got the, the hood part over her head, and she's got a very pretty bonnet on. And it looks like, is she holding a doll of her own? It looks like Didi has a little doll with her. Wow. I'll read you this page because it's sweet. Let me try and hold the book a bit still. I'm sorry. The problem is I have to move to read the words and that makes me move the book, so I'm sorry about that. It says, All dollies like pretty clothes. Of all my clothes, I like my pink coat and cap the best. That was why I was happy when my mother said that I might wear my pink coat and cap when we went to visit Aunt Edith. I rode in my buggy to Aunt Edith's. I took my doll riding too. I call my dolly Tiny Et. Oh my goodness, I have a Tiny Et. We smiled at all the people we met on the way. Because these Didi dolls were made by F&B, as I said yesterday. And F&B made all the Patsy dolls that you may have heard of. And they made one called Tiny Et. I'll find you a Tiny Et next time and show you. Oh, look at this. Here's little little um, Didi baby and she's lying in her bunting and she's got a sleep bonnet on. She must be tired. After their walk to Aunt Edith's house. It's a very long book. I hope you're not getting too bored. And here's the little girl and she seems to have her jammies on. Are they jammies? Oh no, it's her Japanese kimono. That's what the book's telling me. And they're both in their Japanese kimonos and they're going to go to a party dressed up like that. Very cute. So I have to find, show you one of my tiny ets. Only problem is I don't think I've got them where I can reach them. I think I've got a lot of stuff in the way. Oh, and this is the same as the front cover. Here's a little um, Didi baby standing in her playpen. We can see now it's a playpen. It's on the floor. And she's just looking out. 
she's wearing, I think it's just like her singlet and her nappy. And here's a, a pretend school that the little girl's got. It says, welcome dollies to our school. And they've got three dollies set up with a little dyedy baby in the middle. And um, bigger doll on one side. She's got a, a ringlet wig on. And she's a Patsy doll, I can see that made by F and B and probably the little one on the other side, very little doll with um, a dark wig with plaits on either side of her head. Can't quite see her face well enough to say, but she's probably a Patsy doll as well. I think I should after this page I might stop. I don't want you to get too sick of this. I didn't realise it was such a big book. So here's the little oh so cute. Look at this one. Little Dighty doll and she's sitting it looks like on a little little platform of some description covered in a blanket and she's looking at her washing that's drying in the sun so we can see there's like a string line with some pegs holding her a nappy maybe a blanket and her singlet very sweet picture so I think maybe I should stop because it just keeps going and you'll get you know it's a bit much but it's very sweet I'll just quickly quickly show you because I can't help myself there's just a picture of the little girl playing on the grass with her diety and what's this one? Oh, they're in the he's diety in the sand pit with the little doll which is, is a patsy doll I can see that clearly now patsy doll with a dark wig with the plaits and they're playing in the sand together and then here's a picture of diety lying on the floor having some tummy time a couple of toys, very, very safe for a baby. One's a marble, and I can't tell what the other one is. Perfect toy for a baby. And here she is again. She's talking on the telephone. It's a very old-fashioned kind of telephone where the earpiece is separate from the talking, the mouthpiece. So there's Didi having a chat to someone. I think there's lots of different Didi dolls in this book. Sent, they look a bit different in each picture almost. Here's another one. Here she is. What's she doing here? I think she's... Oh, she's going for a picnic. So she's just got a little play suit on. I think that's a different dye doll again. Because that's got very moulded hair at the front. And here they are, playing with a hose. The little girl's in her swimsuit. Oh, how cute. And she's spraying her dye doll with a the hose. They're on the grass. Here we have Didi's fallen fast asleep in her high chair. She's fallen asleep, leaning forward with her head resting on a book. I guess she was reading it and she just got too tired and went to sleep. And that's the end of the book there. So I hope you enjoyed seeing that. It's a very cute book. I love showing you that. So um, the other, only other thing I wanted to do was Lulu asked if I could read the words to this book, Elizabeth and her doll Susan, because she can't see. She didn't realise that it's a very simple book that I read when I was a very little girl. So I'll just quickly go through it for her. I, I did warn her that it's very basic. So it just says, in a big town, it's a small house. small house lives a little girl. Her name is Elizabeth. And this is the picture that's got Elizabeth holding her pram, <coughs> which is cute. I love that picture. There's only one colour on that page. It's sort of a, a teal, sort of blue. Next page says, Elizabeth has a doll called Susan. Elizabeth loves Susan very much. So they've added red to that page. One morning at 8 o'clock, Elizabeth gets up. She washes herself and then puts on her clothes. Susan has been asleep in her own little bed. Elizabeth says, Good morning, Susan. Time to get up. When Susan is dressed, she and Elizabeth have a good breakfast. I like that page because... 
the doll Susan is sitting at a little table and chairs on top of the table right near her, her mummy Elizabeth. The sun is shining. So Elizabeth and Susan go out in the garden to play. A bit of red highlights on that page. The swing is red. There are some red flowers. First Elizabeth takes Susan for a ride. So she's putting Susan into her pram. Then they both have a swing under the shady tree until Mother calls lunch. So there they are, both on the swing together. In the afternoon, it's raining, so Elizabeth shows her shows Susan her toys and a picture book. It's a good thing to do on a rainy day. Then Mother calls Elizabeth to help in the kitchen. Susan sits in the window to watch. So the little doll is sitting on the window sill and Elizabeth has got an apron on and she's washing some dishes for her mummy. When they have both had supper, Elizabeth gives Susan a ride on her knees and sings, This is the way the ladies ride, ladies ride, ladies ride. That's that game when you put your children on one leg that's crossed over the other and um, jiggle it up and down until they get too heavy and you feel like your leg's going to break. Then Susan and Elizabeth have a little dance until Mother calls bedtime. So the toys are all playing there. I'll show you this. The, the doll and the golly doing a dance and then there's a soldier doll and a ballerina doll doing a dance and Teddy is holding two drumsticks and he's beat it, beating the drum that's tied around his neck and Elizabeth and Susan are dancing around together. So now it's their bedtime. Elizabeth puts away her toys and books. And we saw that page last time. That's with the spinning top and some books. Teddy, the doll and the golly and the elephant. So she's a good little sausage. She's tidying up. Oh, now look, we've got a bit of green on this page. Mummy's jumper is in green. It's the only time we've seen green so far. Then Mother comes and soon Elizabeth and Susan are tucked into bed. There they are. They're tucked into bed and there's the mummy sitting on the end of the bed. Let's see if that's the last page. Oh, there's one more. It just says, Good night, Elizabeth. Good night, Susan. And I'll show you a little addition on the very end. And I'm sure my little brother did that, because he did that to books. He scribbled with red crayon on the very last page. Scribble, scribble, scribble. He did that um, in one of on one of our, um, what was the name of the book? Baba the Elephant books. And I tried to fix it up and it <laughs> looked a lot worse when I'd finished with it. And we were surprised that our mum could tell what had happened. We didn't, didn't know it. We thought it looked wonderful. I still remember that. That was so funny. My brother is only 13 months younger than me, so we were, you know, always, we always played together and we were very close still. He's a lovely brother. I used to wish that he was a sister, but he's pretty good for a brother. I love him a lot. So that's probably, the yes, that is the end of the video, and I hope it wasn't too long. And always know, of course, that you just skip through whenever you want to. I don't mind, of course, if there's something that's boring. Because some people might like bits of it, and others not like all of it. So thank you very much for coming and looking at my poor tired Didy doll and my beautiful Lottie, who was a big hit. Um, it's been great to have you with us again on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. So take care, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Be kind to each other. Bye-bye.